Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the transformer and load the part 3. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the problem. A 400 bar 200 voltage single phase transformer is supplying a load of 50 ampere at a power factor of 0.866 lagging. The no load current is 2 ampere at 0.208 power factor lagging. Calculate the primary current and primary power factor. So this is the current taken at the full loaded condition. This is the current taken at the no load condition. Now we will analyze the given data. The V1 is given primary voltage. Primary voltage is V1 is 400 voltage. The secondary voltage is given V2. 200 voltage then i2 i2 is the full load current is 50 ampere the corresponding power factor cos pi 2 equal to 0.866 so this current and power factor is the loaded condition 50 ampere and 0.866 power factor then no load current is 2 ampere is given as 2 ampere for corresponding power factor cos pi naught is 0.208 value the corresponding power factor we need to find the primary current I1 as well as primary power factor cos pi 1. We need to find I1 value and cos pi 1 value. Now we have the cos pi 2 as well as cos pi naught. These two values are available cos pi 2 and cos pi naught. From that we can find the pi 2 value and pi naught value. Cos pi 2 equal to 0.866 so that pi 2 equal to cos inverse 0.866 so this value is 30 degree so the pi 2 value is 30 degree similarly cos pi naught equal to 0.208 so that pi naught equal to cos inverse 0.208 so that is equal to 77.99 degree right so from that we can find sin pi naught so sin pi naught pi naught value is 77.99 that is equal to 0.978 so now we calculated pi 2 value that is 30 degree pi naught value 77.99 degree and also sin pi naught value 0.978 so by using this we can draw the vector diagram so we need to find the i1 value i1 is nothing but vector sum of i naught and i2 dash right i naught and i2 dash now we will see this, this is the I0 value, no load current that is given as 2 ampere. It is drawn at an angle of this 72 at an angle of this 77.99 degree by using this degree pi naught. And I2 dash is given as 25 ampere. So this angle is 30 degree by using this 30 degree pi naught, pi 2 value. right? So this I0 is 2 ampere drawn at an angle of 77.99 degree using pi naught value. This I2 dash is 25 ampere, it is drawn at an angle of 30 degree. So, this I1 is nothing but vector sum of I naught and I2 dash. I naught and I2 dash, right. So, this angle, angle between this I2 dash and I naught is the difference between these two angles. By using that, we can find. By using the parallelogram ve vector, parallelogram of vector, we can find the I1 value. Now, we will see that I0 is 2 ampere. So, that I2 dash, we need to find I2 dash is K into I2, right. So, that K equal to V2 by V1, that is 200 by 400, 0.5. Transformation ratio is 0.5. This 25 ampere, we can calculate like this. Only I2 is given, I2 dash is not given. I2 is given as 50 ampere. I2 dash is 25 ampere. I2 means current flowing through the secondary. I2 dash means due to that current flowing in the primary is called I2 dash. I2 dash, I2 means current flowing in secondary. I2 dash means current flowing in primary due to the loading of secondary. Right? So, I2 dash equal to K into I2. I2 already available, 50 ampere. K is 0.5 calculated here. So, that is 25 ampere, right. So, this 25 ampere is calculated from this formula. Now, we can calculate the I1 value. 
So, the angle between this I naught and I 1, I 2 dash is the difference between these two angles 77.99 minus 30 degree that is equal to 47.99 degree. So, there is given here the difference between these two angles is 47.99 degree. So, now the angle is available I naught value available I 2 dash value available. So, by using parallelogram theorem we can find the I 1 value. Right. So, using the parallelogram theorem I 1 equal to square root of I naught square plus I 2 dash square plus 2 into I naught I 2 dash into cos pi cos theta. So, by using this parallelogram theorem we can find the I 1 value. All the values are available theta also available theta is nothing but 47.99. So, this I naught is 2 ampere I 2 dash is 25 ampere this we calculated into plus 2 into I naught 2 ampere I 2 dash 25 ampere into cos 47.99 degree the theta is 47.99 degree. So, by simplifying this we got I 1 equal to 26.38 ampere the current flowing in the primary winding is 26.38 ampere. So, that is given here. So, this is this I 1 is vector sum of these two the angle also we calculated by using parallelogram theorem we calculated this I 1 value 26.38 ampere. Now, we will calculate the power factor primary winding power factor. So, we know that I 1 cos pi 1 equal to I 2 does cos pi 2 plus I naught cos pi naught from the vector diagram we can easily identify that this I 1 is the vector sum of I 2 does and I naught. So, that I 1 cos pi 1 this cos pi 1 is nothing but primary power factor I 2 dash into cos pi 2 cos pi 2 is nothing but secondary power factor when it is loaded in plus I naught cos pi naught cos pi naught is nothing but power factor under no load condition. So, this is the power factor under no load condition this is power factor under loaded condition this is power factor in the primary winding this I 1 cos pi 1 equal to 22 0.066 right. So, from that cos pi 1 equal to 22.066 divided by I 1. So, that cos pi 1 equal to 26.22.6066 divided by I 1 value we calculated 26.38. So, by simplifying what we got 0.836. So, the primary power factor is 0.836. So, in this video we calculated the primary power factor as well as the primary current. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. The soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.